Hey everybody, it's Norm here from Wyack Mobile Device Repair in Easton, Maryland, and I'm coming to you this evening to talk about Zooms. Uh, I had a comment over the weekend that um, somebody suggested that the software that I posted or the hack that I posted to update your Zoom, uh, it would be nice to have a video walking you through how to actually use it. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Now. What I am not going to do though is I am not going to um, actually update the Zune firmware on a Zune because, well, I don't have a Zune <laughs> uh, any longer, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and so, you know, it is what it is, uh, sadly. But I am going to walk you through where to download it, how to download it, unpack it. Um, the correct files to change and then how to start the web server and from there you should just be able to update your Zune uh, with you know your mileage may vary after that point but for the most part it is plug-and-play after that so let's get to it all right so I did previously go go to um, my github page and download this so I'm not gonna have you sit around and wait for this this to happen so I've got a virtual machine open um, of Windows 10 and um, I had to wet my whistle uh, Windows 10 and I've got it already open to the uh, to the to the URL to, uh, for my get my github page that you're gonna want to go to um, and that's right here um, github.com and when you go to, I'm going to post the link down in the uh, the, the description uh, to this particular page, so you, know, you don't have to worry too much about writing writing it down. But when you do go down there, if you've never used Git before, um, and you're probably never going to use it again, other than just for this, I might suggest rather than cloning the repository and going through and installing the GitHub client, client, just come on over here on this green button right here and click on clone and download and then what you're going to choose is to download the zip file um, the zip zip archive will get you going so once you do that that's going to download a zip file and it's going to put it in your downloads folder and so there's the there's the um, the, the actual zip file um, and then I've already gone through it and unzipped it and then here it is this is the file these are the files that you'll you will have that you need to uh, update it uh, update your zoom but in the meantime before you can do that there is one thing you're gonna do um, and it is right here in the instructions so you don't have to go go about this on your own you're gonna have to open up notepad as administrator and go to um, your to this file path right here uh, C Windows System 32 drivers at C and then find the host file. So let's go do that right now. What I do is I go down here to uh, the search bar or uh, Cortana and then you start typing in Notepad. That gives you this menu right here. You drop down on that little file and then you get to the, your, the um, Chevron arrow and then you get run as administrator. So you're going to do that. Say yes. That's going to open it up in uh, open notepad as administrator and the directory it's going to be is already C Windows System 32 because that's where the executable for um, notepad is located so at that point you're going to go over here to file click on open and then you're going to go to you'll be in this directory here you're going to go down to drivers Etsy and then it looks like there's nothing there but then you have to go down here and change your file type from text documents to all files now everything shows up and this is the fi file we need to edit so we double click on that and that opens up your host file um, I won't go into exactly what your host file is um, that's a you know a, a topic of a, of a different uh, variety altogether so then what you got to do is you got to add this line right here 127.0.0.1 which is your um, local host address and then resources.zune.net so I'm gonna go ahead and copy these in uh, copy that and then we'll 
open up Notepad here, and then we're just gonna paste it right in. Uh, there we go. I'm on a, a Mac keyboard inside of Windows, so it gets confusing. Sometimes you gotta use Command, sometimes you gotta use Control. Uh, and I am a, a, a keyboard person. I, I prefer to use keyboard shortcuts whenever possible. Um, and so that's it. That's you, you plunk that in there at the, uh, you, and you want to make sure it's the very last line, um, something below the comment fields. These are uh, the, the little um, pound symbols here, uh, or the hashtag as some people call it. Uh, the, the that symbol there is a comment. So all anything after that or, or is ignored. So right here is where the actual file starts. So add that to it. Click file, save and then we can close it we no longer need that open and then finally you can go over here to mongoose and then just simply double click on this you'll you'll get a um you know uh, you, you'll get this uh, windows defender typically or maybe your antivirus um will will try to block it if it does allow it or go and say you know and go or if it blocks it go and unblock it and say yes allow I want this to run there you go now as you can see we're here in the browser it's showing me the uh, resolvable uh, local IP address of, uh, of, of 10.0.1.1 but I also want to make sure that I can test it I already know this is the case because we can see it there but go to 127.0.0.1 anyways there you go bing that's all you need to do if you see this page here um, in your web browser this page or this page you're ready to go at this point all you have to do is fire up the the um, the zoom um, sync manager uh, I, which I forget the name for um, and then connect your zoom it's going to it's going to say hey there's a um there's an update out there that needs to be done uh would you like to do it you say yes and then if everything goes correctly it's going to find these files because we've told it to go to the url uh, or told it that the url of uh, resources.zoom.net is going to go to your local computer and that's what that's what the purpose of this web server is this mongoose um, web server here is to serve up the serve up this firmware in these files here it's gonna find it it's gonna quickly download them flash your um, your, your zoom and then bada bing bada bang Bob's your uncle you should be good to go you should have a final version of, of the uh, zoom software uh, running on your zoom player so with that I thank you for tuning in and uh, suffering through my bumbling this evening, it's been uh, a rough couple of days for me here. It's the you know first week, first of the year. It's the eighth of January, um, 2020, and uh, the first seven days of January have just been absolutely busy. Um, and so I'm getting tired, and I'm getting ready to go. And today's a Wednesday, so I'll be getting ready to go into the really busy. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, um, even busier. So thank you very much for tuning in, and thank you for um, always uh, uh, always being there and uh, posting your great comments. If you have something that you might like me to uh, clarify, put a comment in, and I will try to do another video to either clarify something um, or explain it to you. And that goes for any other topic as well. Um, uh, I, I am open to talking about just about anything technology related, uh, computers, programming, blah, blah, blah. So thank you. Have a, uh, I hope you had a happy holiday season and uh, a wonderful new year. And here is to a wonderful uh, 2020.